Hello and welcome fellow YouTubers to another Actas Toy Reviews. Today we will be reviewing Yuki Nagato, the Figma figure from Max Factory and Good Smile Company. Before I really get into this uh, figure, let me introduce Yuki Nagato. She is actually from the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya or Suzumiya Haruhi no Yutsu. It's from, it is an anime series that has been created and started airing in Japan around 2006 and has gained worldwide phenomenon. Uh, it is now a cult classic and uh, thousands of followers, myself included. Uh, this uh, this show is uh, supposedly having a second season this year, and I can't wait for that. Uh, in the meantime, let's get back to this figure. So before we start, let me move this figure aside and bring over the box here. Sorry about the box, but uh, I've already removed the figure, as you can see. Uh, that would not be the case for the next one. I was too excited, and uh, my camera was uh, in Korea for some reason. <laughs> Just got it back. Uh, we see an uh, art here of Yuki holding the book. We have a name. We have the product number 001. The next one to be released will be Haruhi in April. We have here a figure, action figure, Figma, the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. This is the uniform version. This is what it says here. We see her sitting on a chair. Uh, art, not really art, but we see more pictures here. And over here at the corner, we see the Max Factory and a Good Smile Company logo. We turn this around, Figma, and again the Figma word on the front. Now you must be wondering what Figma is. Figma is actually a brand, a series of uh, figures that uh, Max Factory and Good Smile Company are coming out with, are uh, already releasing, that uh, actually that actually can are not like other other anime figures but they have the they have the ability to be posed that's what's so special about these new figma figures so let me bring this uh, yuki figure back here as you can see the joints are clearly not noticeable now she's in uh, some sort of a battle position um so let me just go through these joints over here, her articulation. As you can see, she's connected to this special, specially made Figma stand here, with three points of articulation, and a, and you can rotate here. It says li limitless possibility, and she's just connected by this peg, which can be removed like so. Her amazing articulation starts with her legs. She can move forwards, backwards, side to side, rotate. It's on a ball joint. Magnificent. Back, forwards, a little bit of side to side, not too much. Her legs, her feet, I say, can go forwards and backwards and can rotate in and out. Fantastic. Just marvellous. Uh, same goes for the other leg. Her arms can move, let me show you this one, up, down, forwards, backwards. They can rotate a little bit, not too much. These can move for up and down. Her hands are on joints. I'm not sure you can see them, but they go up, down, and this one can be rotated. Sorry, because uh, my video does not really seem clear when you go too near, or when you zoom in or something. Her head can move left, right, up, and down, like so. Fantastic possibility, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure you can tell too. Uh, we also have uh, some special parts. Uh, these parts are made from PVC, PVC, PVC. I think these are PVC, but they're actually rubber. They feel rubbery and flexible, which includes her skirt, which allows, of course, to pose the legs, and her jacket over here. Two sides. Her ribbon is not really that flexible PVC, but this clothes part is flexible PVC to allow her arms allow her arms to move up and down. I'm not sure you can see this, but uh, yeah, this thing is moving too. For this uh, Figma action figures series, the joints are very very nice and uh, tight. So they do not require the stand on a hard surface if you just want to pose them there, like so. But if you want to do a one leg pose or something like that, then I would recommend you use the stand. Okay, so moving on, uh, let's go through the paint on this figure. She has a uh, purple hair. Um, these are not really painted plastic, but uh, they are beige, skinnish skin color. We have a uh, blue socks, uh, brown shoes, 
blue skirt uh, the sailor uniform is blue with red and uh, white her cardigan is in brown and that's about it